Nothing quite like a little love tap push off to start the day off. Well, I guess this is the end of the day for these guys. Welcome back guys to the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ranch channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp and today we are back at Boynton. Get a little love tap off the dock as well and these guys are going to push it up onto the trailer and it looks like the rest will be easy but uh, that was a little bit of an experience for them. And they didn't have the bow line tied tight enough on the cleat and it actually came loose. Somehow this crewmate caught the bow line though before it went into the water. Um, was able to get the boat back in, but that was a close one. They almost lost that bow line and that boat would have been out there in the middle. And here comes our crew and he's going for the long back up here. We are going for distance. But it looks pretty good so far. Kind of getting a little sideways here, but overall not too bad. Oh, we're going to get a little bit turned into the dock now, though. He's got himself a little funky. It's a little messed up now. He's going to try and correct, but let's see if he can get this one down. Right here, he needs to be turning back to straight already, and he's not. He's going to overcorrect. Wow, this trailer's way off to the right now. If you look at the bow of the boat, you'll see the trailer. Basically, this trailer and this truck are making a V in the water, which is going to make for an interesting load. Um, I mean, I guess there's nobody else here at the ramp, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's just gonna it's gonna make it funky when he tries to pull this one up he's gonna have to take a weird approach angle but uh here comes our cat and he's gonna go ahead and try and get this one loaded up and on and it's not a big deal i guess that he's blocking the ramp kind of like this today is it's kind of a slower day there's not a whole lot going on but i'm curious to see how cap handles this one though because really he's gonna have to back almost all the way out of this and kind of approach at a different angle Is he loading straight on? He can't do that. No, Cap. You're not even on the trailer, man. He's trying to load straight on, but this trailer's way off to the right. I mean, these guys are nowhere near being on that trailer. And it looks like his crewmate here is up there attaching the winch to the bow eye. But this is, this is not right. We're not even close, guys. This is going to be interesting. So here's our crew, and you can tell the, the boat's kind of floated back over the trailer, but I still don't even believe this is far enough over. I mean, they've got this trailer too far to the right. Our captain's trimming the motors out, so they're about to attempt to pull this out, but I don't think they're over it still. But I mean, it's definitely closer than it was for sure. Oh man, they still don't realize though. Captain's pulling the boat back. He's pulling it off the trailer. And they're starting to pull out, but man, he's nowhere near this. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. They are so far off. You can see the trailer over there to the right. Like, it's not even close. I mean, <laughs> this is not... I mean, the trailer's finally starting to straight itself out now that they're pulling forward. But man, this boat is... Unfortunately, the way they have this set up, I mean, he really is going to have to back this all the way down. But look, he's backing in, so the trailer's going back to the right again. They're going to try and let it self-level, but they're too far off. I mean, you're going to have to pull this thing back off probably to do this, or at least sink that trailer really deep. And nope, they're going to start pulling up again, but realize very quickly that that's not going to work either. I mean, I just I, they got this one just so far off. I mean, it was unbelievable how far to the right that trailer was. I mean, you can see how jerky some of the movements are as they back this boat down. The boat's trying to resettle itself, but I mean, we're still, the trailer's back to the right again. Yeah, oh! This is a rough one to watch. When you get into this point at the ramp, you kind of wonder if you don't just reset yourself altogether. I mean, if I'm watching, oh! I don't know what the boat hit there, but it did something, so it might be trying to center itself as we talked about, but at, at this point in time, you kind of wonder whether you just go ahead and start over. Release the boat, back up, and maybe try recentering the trailer and try recentering the boat. I mean, you can tell here, look at the, the the trailer's still way off to the right. And now we're rubbing against the dock as we're trying to pull out as well. And it looks like we have somebody over here at the dock who's going to try and maybe lend some assistance and help these guys out. I mean, he's taking a look, and he can obviously tell by, just by looking that something's off. 
And you guys, I see these guys are still bound and determined. They're going to pull out, man. They're just so far off. I mean, have you guys ever had an experience like this when you were down at the boat ramp? And what did you do? Did you reset this? Did you start over? I mean, how many times do you pull this like this too, with it being that far off before you realize that you're just not even close? And our guy here is going to walk up the dock and tell our cap and crew that, hey guys, you're way off. Like, your trailer's out to the right, and, you know, you're going to need to do a little more work than this. I mean, the trailer's trying to set the boat. As we can tell here, it's kind of drifting out. And so it's trying to center this thing. But it's just had such a rough start that it, it's, it's almost not wanting to correct. Now, here we're at least getting the truck to turn the other way now. So that's going to help level this trailer back out. And by doing that, it looks like we've caught it a little better. We're still off, but here we can see that the boat's not quite got the same angle it's had. And our cabs finally got out and decided that he needs to reevaluate the situation from what he had going on. And with the trailer part of the way on the dock like this, he's now realizing, yes, this trailer is not straight. It's off to the right, and his boat's diving in on the trailer. So let's see how they assess this. There's a couple ways to go about it. One, you reset. We release the boat. Two, we keep our crewmate out here and see if we can get him to center it as we get this deeper. And it looks like we're going to go with option two. I actually think it was still pretty brave of the uh, forerunner here to pack his trailer down. Because he doesn't know how far to the right this guy's trailer is here. So Cap's giving some instructions to his crewmate, basically telling him, Hey, I'm going to back this out and I need you to push the boat over the trailer. And let's see if this one works. That last reset where they turned the front wheels on the truck, getting the trailer a little more straight, may have reset the trailer just enough where this approach may work. But I mean, if he can get it far enough over anyway, it'll get on there. So our guy's giving a push, and he's getting close to the other boat, but eventually he's gonna get over the trailer, and here comes our captain. He's gonna pull this out slow, which is gonna help this self-center on the trailer. And it looks like the trailer caught it a little bit, so they might be about right now. And our guy's going to pull out to let it keep leveling. And it looks like, yep, we've got success. But man, that was an interesting one. I'm curious if there was any damage to the hull on that. I mean, they didn't do anything crazy, but still, that was a fun experience. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets a bunch of great images down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.